Good morning, my no makeup friends. Today's tip is about sense, common sense. Uh, pretty much the whole workout this morning, I was thinking about that. I just want you to know when, when you come out of the gym in the morning and you can see your breath, you know it's cold in South Carolina. I think it's the first time that's really happened all winter. All right, <clears throat> sense. One of my songs came on about why Jesus came. I'm, I feel like I'm going to cry. All right, he came. He came. He came to demonstrate, just in his person, but also in his deeds, the love and the compassion and the peace of God. God the Father, you know, the whole Godhead, Father, Son, Spirit, yeah. And to secure that for his people. So, does it make any sense when you take that into account? I mean, that's biblical, it's solid, it's true. Does it make any sense to say... Jesus came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. But to change that to be, or to apply that, let's do that, to apply that to say, to, to mean Jesus, Jesus secured forgiveness for my sin. I'm out from under the wrath of the Father. I'm going to heaven. I'm now, yes. My life, my soul, my spirit is saved for all eternity. Hallelujah. Now what? Now what? Now, you know, I'm thinking there's most of us, my experience, most of us, maybe that's exaggeration. Let's just say many of us. Some of us. Okay, I'll just say me. And I know there's at least one or two others that have that. But that de facto, that in fact, we take the glorious, amazing gospel and somehow or other translate that to mean I'm going to heaven. Now let's get back to life. My soul is saved. Now let's see what I can do about that in my day-to-day -day living. In that the concept is somehow that Jesus did all that work. Now he's accomplished his task and it's my job to carry on. In the olden days, you know, we thought about that like the parachute. Okay, I have my parachute now. I'm getting into heaven. I'm okay, and life goes on. Not that we think that in our heads, if somebody asked us, I've, <laughs> I've walked with the Lord for 50 years. Not that somehow or other, as we translate that, that that we shut out the spirit and say, that's not true, or, it, okay, that's fine, but it looks like this. I'm not sure that we even work it through. It's just something happens. There's a disconnect. But let's stop right now today. I'm stopping today. And, and consider that it makes no sense. It makes no sense that the Father would put that assignment out there for Jesus, he would receive it and come to earth to display the Father's love, to secure our place in eternity in order to turn us over to this world in all of its power. That we, on our own energy and smarts and whatever else we got, that we're just going to make our way alone.
well, yeah, but Jesus is by my side. Well, what does that mean? What does that even mean if you could say the words? What does that mean to my body that Jesus is here? What does it mean in my decisions that Jesus is here? I didn't even recognize the active work of Holy Spirit until just a couple of few years ago. Not maybe not five, less than five. Not not so much four. Okay, maybe three. And to really start to get to know him and hear him. To have his presence really mean something in my day-to-day life. And I realize that old way of living makes absolutely no sense to the gospel that I understood and understand and that my spirit was moved from death to life, my spirit, my soul. It makes no sense on that level either. But the reality that I've been talking about and I've been experiencing (laughs) recently Jesus saves. It's a present tense. There's an S on the end. Jesus saves. Yes, from death to life. But day to day, year to year, moment to moment, Jesus is right here guiding me, walking with me. Yeah, through the Spirit. Say that if you want. It's okay. It's not just that, no, I'm not alone. It's in the deepest part of my body where my emotions live, by the way, if you're wondering. That's where our emotions are. They're in our body. They're not in the mind. They're not even really in the spirit. It's all connected. My emotions are in the body. So I need and want, and it's growing, a deeper awareness of the presence, the active rescuing of Jesus. And not even when I just get into my tangle, my cage, my pit that I take myself into on my own. But way back when I have the first thought, check it out. When I have the first inclination, when I make the first, you know, move toward a plan. That's where Jesus meets me. That's where he wants me to rest in him. Way down deep in the impulses. Jesus. Jesus. That's why Holy Spirit's in my body, I guess. Okay. That's enough for today. But think about it. If it if it if that you know, understand here but live here. Understand here but live here. Doesn't make sense to you either. Stop and change change that. Ask the Lord, Father, Son, Spirit, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, to show you, because he will. Trust me, he will. Okay. If this has encouraged your heart, could you just say a positive something in comments or do a like, share it with a friend? Yeah, let's let other folks know there's more than what we thought. Have a blessed day.